All right, let's take these two guys out. It's a, I need, okay, there's energy. Good night, Susie. What's wrong with Susie? And he's down. I don't see how killing the guards opens the door. Oh well. Programs, I guess. That makes a bit more sense than the door just opening for real life. Again, uh, one thing that disappoints me a bit about this game is the fact there's just like no free running. Not, not, not free running, well, free roaming, sorry. I don't know why I said running when I would. Yes, there's no. Oh, sorry, I just found out the mic there. Uh, there's no free running when I was free running. That makes. That makes almost no sense. Uh, no, but I mean, it's like no like serious free running, like no alternative path. So I think this game could have really been improved if there was. Like, I don't know, like, I doubt they would have had the budget, especially on the 360, to do something like this, but like Elder Scrolls style. That would have been way too much, especially for a, for a Disney game. I'm not just, I know Disney had something to do with it, but I don't remember who the developers were. Okay, energy, need some health. As if not, I'm fucked. Oh, here's some more guys. Whoa! Yeah, screw it. Why not? Oh, another recognizer. On the ground, mate. Wait, what? Come on. See the, okay, so the bombs don't work on these guys, it needs to be the heavy. Oh, I, I thought I'd fallen off the edge there. Okay. Okay, I just want to say this now. I hate this guy, but he looks awesome. I need a bomb, so... That's heavy. Oh dear. Yeah. Is that the bomb? I don't know what one I'm using. What did he say his weakness was the bomb? Okay, I'll try the heavy on him. I need more energy. Oh dear. I need more energy. Come on. I keep saying for energy. I sound like a character from a Sonic the Hedgehog game around the 20th anniversary year. I need more energy. I need more energy. Oh, this guy's got a... Can I, can I just change my skin to that? Put in blue? Oh, obviously, the, with the blue instead of red. You know what I mean? Like the blue accent lines instead of uh, the red ones. That would be awesome. Because that guy looks awesome. Yeah, take that, yes, great. Well, I would like to apologise. I think it was part four I made an assumption that it was Michael Sheen voicing uh, Zeus, but it's some guy called James Rain. Hey, over here. I just can't remember details very well. Oh, so how did you get here perfectly fine? They're hunting for you, Isos. I can't do this without you, Radia. With Tron and Flynn going down to that virus, it's up to us to keep Flynn's dream of unity alive. But none of that will matter if this virus is to stop. We will do what we must to preserve oh dear. But we have questions surrounding the demise of Flynn. I can't actually hear what they're saying. I've got, I've got the subtitles on just so my voice isn't drowned out. I'll have the subtitles on anyway. He attacked them. I was too late. A tragedy, truly. How may we assist you? Thank you. We 
have to stop the spread of the Abraxas virus before it grows even stronger. I don't know who uh, does the voicing for Flynn and uh, uh, Clue, but i got to say, he does sound so much like Jeff Bridges. I knew I could count on you. Well, now I should go. There's much to do. Goodbye, Radia. Together, we'll get through this difficult time. And does she not question how he's now in yellow? Or at least an orange yellow? Again, colorblind. Can't tell. You can go out now, Flora. The system wants to. You're the one Clue's looking for? The, the one, one responsible for this tragedy? Clue's lying, Radia. This monitor didn't kill Flynn and Tron. Clue did. We witnessed it. Did you? Then let us see as well. Oh. Ah! It's up to being so bright. Stop doing that. Mostly. Stop stop flashing brightly. That is hurting my eyes. Wait a minute. Since Tron is still revealed to be alive, how doesn't she see that? She's seeing everything else. She sees Flynn's alive. How, how doesn't she know that Tron's still alive because he's not in the rest of this game? Because I think I did the check correctly. This came out the same year as uh, Legacy. So they obviously had to be working together to make sure it's in the same continuity. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I'm assuming be they, if if they didn't do a bang up job. We have seen that an ISO survivalist called Gibson escorted Flynn from the city, but was arrested shortly thereafter. Okay. This Gibson appears to have been brought to the game grid. Hang on a minute, I'm, I'm going to sort out these options because this is going to really get on my nerves. Uh, turn that down again. I don't know why it was off. Okay, that, the audio seems really quiet during the cutscenes, actually. Oh, Gibson, yes, I like Gibson. Uh oh, have a recognizer. Don't want bomb this, and I need the heavy. Oh no, please don't be going to get it now. Let's go! Okay, I have turned that up way too loudly on my end. Okay, so I thought it was actually uh, on my end, without having the technical issue there with the sound, but no, it's actually the game, because in the uh, cutscene it's awfully quiet. At least on my end, I'm not sure how it's going to come out in the video. Because I know like, a lot of like Let's Play YouTubers, well, I don't know what exactly they do, but I know a lot of YouTubers they tend to do is uh, they tend to use like having a local computer as well. I, for the record, don't have a decent enough computer to do that with. So yeah, so I've got to do this like very basic thing. Good, this guy's glitching up. I'm not glitching out as such, but he's uh... Oh, how do I put it? He's um... His attacks weren't hitting me. Okay, um... That's odd. I don't know why he's doing that, but I, I never even used that move, which is funny. I've just, I, I've actually more or less just discovered that move because I've never, I never used it before. But funny, I've actually done like this game more like about twice now, more or less, and uh, you know, just never used that move. Oh, okay, never do that in an angle, it does screw up a bit. Like this, once if I just... I think if you do this at the wrong angle, you can miss it entirely. Oh, oh, this one's actually, uh... Yeah, the theatre, this is actually a, uh... This is actually a very interesting uh, set piece. So, or set piece, I must say, uh, section. Because if I disable this, these guys are dead. I 
can do this now. Yeah, if I activate this, well, save on it more, right? Uh, this is actually one of my favourite sections. It, it can be a bit tricky, though. When I say can be, I mean it is a bit tricky. I mean, I died a few times during the first attempt. Okay. Now the power core goes out. And with a rather disturbing implication in uh, the Tron thing, because if I remember correctly, the entire area just starts collapsing. Like this. They're dead, like, they just fall into nothing. The digital sea, which in the Tron universe of the grid, uh, means you get derezzed, I believe. I've actually got where I've got to go. Oh, here, yeah. I've got to climb up here. Oh, no. Not now. Don't do this. Oh, now I can do it. No! Yeah, let me do that the last second. That was kind of annoying. So, yeah. Uh, I've got to do this entire section again. Okay, I'll... I'll avoid the Muppets. 